surfaces are eventually going to be affected by the weather, the elements, and need to be painted periodically. This house hasn't been painted in around 10 years, so while they're at it, the homeowners have asked me to give it a complete color update. What a transformation. This is such a great example of the power of paint. To get the house a more contemporary spin, I went with a really simple color palette. For all the woodwork and trim, I used gray, and for the windows, black. And yes, those really are the color names. However, for the front door, I used 10 Downing Street in Aura Grand Entrance, a nice high gloss, a richer black. Now, painting the garage doors is often a dilemma. I always get asked about the color. My rule of thumb is to go more neutral there so that the front door can be the real star. I love the scale of the existing light fixture, but to mix things up, we went more modern with the mailbox and with the house numbers. What a gorgeous makeover. So Sharon is here now with ideas to decorate your floors, whether they're inside or out. Yes. So think about painting the right? floors. Right. You can do that. I know sometimes, you know, they get worn. They're, you know, a lot of wear yes. and tear and you've sanded down your floor a million times and you can't really do it one more time. So that's a good time mm -hmm. to think about painting or maybe it's at the cabin or maybe it's your balcony and it's yeah. a boring concrete slab. That's right. So I actually wanted to talk about this cute little vignette where we stenciled it, stenciled the floor. This could be wood, this could be concrete. But again, it's the idea of bringing color and pattern onto that area that is, Underfoot. Yes. So if you want to take a look at the picture yes. of a stencil project I did a couple of years ago here at City Line, and then one of the producers was so inspired by that that she took the stencil idea yeah. and actually did it on a real balcony outside. And it's such a great idea because, again, you sit out there, create your own little oasis from the ground up. Yes, I think it's gorgeous. Right. And the thing about it is you could be spending that money on getting it tiled, which is right. so much yep. more expensive. So much more expensive. You can get a gorgeous stencil and be a little yep. bit material you can get that same look just with paint. That's it. And the thing with paint, as we always say, it's like preparation. You really yes, have to prep. do the preparation. So it's, you know, it's a little bit more involved, but it certainly is less expensive. Now, when it comes to concrete, mm -hmm. usually it's an old concrete that you're going to be painting. Even if it's been previously painted, it's still, um, it's still doable. This is an old, just a concrete stone, um, patio stone that I brought in to show you because it's too heavy. I couldn't do a full floor here. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> that's good enough. We've got a good shot. Uh, shot of it and you can show Perfect. us do you have to Just, prep that do you have you know, to prime that good question you do not have to prime it if you're using the Benjamin Moore's floor and patio good. paint it's epoxy reinforced okay. so it's like a primer paint and then you don't need to top coat you know so do Great. two coats but you can see I literally just did one coat um, in the back as you can see on my hands <laughs> so I just wanted to show you it, how it absorbs really quickly into the concrete because again you want to make sure your concrete is not new if it is new you've got to let it cure at least you know 60 to 90 days so yeah. ideally you want to be painting over um, over you know cured concrete for sure so that there's no right. water in it basically yeah. water is what causes so many problems um, with paint so, so again, that's easy that's easy does it do you like does the brush make a difference the, that you use. You want to use a higher pile of a roller. Thank you, Tracy. A or higher roller, pile of that's roller. It, yeah. yeah. It would take you a long time to use this tiny one, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. The big bushy one. The big bushy one. You want to do that. It'll be pretty quick. And yeah. again, two coats is ideal. Okay. But do all the preparation. Definitely talk to the paint store about if you've got another coating on it first because yeah. you might need to sand it down and get it prepped for painting. Okay. But really great thing for concrete. Again, I just wanted to quickly show the stencil. This is where you might want to use a small roller mm -hmm. um, over if you're doing a stencil these are wonderful stencil patterns from cutting edge stencils I've actually used this one probably around 25 times so yeah. it's kind of it's sort of taped up but really like the thing about these stencils you can use them on the wall you can use them on the floor yeah um, and here I use the floor and patio paint in decorators white okay just like on the little vignette and then I used Van and blue and are we pretending the surface is concrete or we are it we could be concrete or it could be wood we're gonna talk about wood okay. in a second it could be either but it's the same paint Got it before and then you put the same paint over top of it and again I look want at that just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Right? Oh, yeah, just so again when you're doing a stencil it's really important that it sticks down you're gonna get a little bit of bleeding on the floor yeah. not so much of concern I always use a low tack spray adhesive on the back mm. place it down rub it down with your hand before you put the stencil on Make and sure then that stays. way exactly yeah. and that'll it'll avoid um, a lot of the bleeding okay okay so, so done wood. that wood now yeah. this is a very nice hardwood floor I pretty sure none of you are going to want to paint your beautiful hardwood floor. If it's that gorgeous, if it's you this won't gorgeous, need to. But I couldn't, no one wanted to give me a piece of their old floor <laughs> for this demo. So Weird, right? I don't know why. <laughs> so 
even if it is old, it probably still has a, a urethane coating on it. So yeah. you want to really cut that. That's what is going to prevent the paint from sticking. So cut that with a good 60 grit sandpaper. Okay. Okay, you can use a machine to sand it down to rough it up. You can see Tracy here the difference where I use the 60 grit. Oh yeah. So it's rough. You want to get rid of that and then super super clean TSP, a degreaser, whatever you've got at home mm -hmm. and then again it's the same latex floor and patio paint. You oh, can good. actually get any color now which is awesome. Yeah. I went with boring decorators white in this case but if you look at some of the photos that we have, some of the Benjamin Moore photos where they've painted floors, yes. the, the, the white it just really cleans up. That's beautiful. Space. Like it feels, especially if the <gasps> floors are a little aged and you're looking for that brightness right. and that, you know, the freshness, you're really going to get it with you're white. You're really going to get that with white. And it's definitely, lovely. it's definitely going to be something where it's an older floor that's taken, you know, it's had years of nice. abuse. But certainly before replacing it, paint it. Yes. You can get a lot more life out of it. Um, and I did want to quickly mention the exterior decks. I've done it so many times this year, but well, you, you know, know what? what? We never get season. sick of hearing it. Yes. And there's a, a lot of people out there doing these projects still now. So right. let's talk about the different kinds of uh, stains of we stains. have out there. The solid stain, you're going to be able to get in absolutely any of the colors. So yeah. this is Hudson Bay, my favorite blue this year. Yeah. Um, this is Hamilton blue in a semi-transparent. Okay. And then here you can see just the teak. It's called teak. It's just a translucent stain okay. with the clear coat over top of it. Oh, okay. okay. So Beautiful. you can do a cedar pressure treated whatever you want but please do all the prep first make sure right. it's nice and dry and uh, test out your color first this isn't like the floor paint you need you need a little bit more prep for you this need more prep yeah. absolutely it's got you know the weather yeah you want to make sure it's clean yes. you want to make sure it's dry more importantly and then away you go and then go for it thank okay. you Sharon okay. let's go to break